Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me be the first to say it's good to be back. That's right. Oh, no, Joe Johnson went on a bit of hiatus. Oh, no big deal or nothing. I just realized to myself I'm putting so many videos out there. How we all going to keep up with it, you know? I mean, I sit looking. There's like four-minute ones, eight-minute ones. Man, I can't expect you to sit in front of the computer for two hours straight just watching me. Although you might want to. It might be a little bit of fun. I mean, I got a pretty face and all. Here, let me show you. Just prove it. That's right. That's my pretty face. But anyway... It's good to be back. I feel all revitalized. The fact, like, I feel like I might have some new material to speak of. That might not be the case, but you never know. Like the one time I ended up having dinner with Tom Hanks. Did I ever tell you about that one? Well, it's very simple. We was out in the New York City. I stopped to get a hot dog at a vendor, and hell, Tom Hanks got a hot dog at the same vendor. And we stood there, we ate our hot dogs together. I said, Mr. Tom Hanks, I enjoy your work very much. And he said, well, well, Mojo, if I ever get a chance to put you in a film, I will. I said, Tommy, baby, if you could do that for me, that would be world-breaking. That would be world-changing. It never happened, but it's okay. It's the thought that counts. So, Tommy, you still out there? You remember old Mojo. Give me a call, baby. You won't put me as a homeless man in one of your films. I don't care. You know, as an actor, you play what you know. I know homelessness. I can do it, baby. Just give me that chance. Just give me that one shot. I'm going to win you a best supporting actor. Or best actor, depending on how long you want to put me in the film, if you know what I'm saying. I could do more than 10 minutes of screen time, no problem. You just got to provide me with a Chevy's Regal about that big, and I'm good to go, baby. That's all there is to it. What else have I done in my life? Oh, there was the one time I ended up in a bicycle race with <clears throat> a certain Mr. <sighs> Bill O'Reilly. Yeah, that's right. I won that race, but I tripped him because I don't like him very much. That was fun. Yeah, that was good. I had a stick in my hand. It was in my pocket at the time. And we was doing the bicycle race around the Central Park Reservoir. I had a really crappy bicycle. And to be perfectly honest with you, he was beating me. And I put everything into it. And I took the stick out and jabbed it into the spokes. And Bill O'Reilly went flying. <laughs> he didn't factor that in to the race, did he? No, he did not. But that's what my life has been like. A lot of crazy people I've met and crazy things I've done, but that's the way Mojo is, see? That's the way I was gonna be, and that's the way I plan on being quite for the, for the rest of my life, basically, as long as I live. Because I don't know really when the pact with the devil expires. It could be any, any day now, but as long as I'm oh, sorry, I had to, had to pull out the feet thing because I won't rest my feet on this little feet thing that's on the stool that the laptop is sitting on. Yeah, it was random. But anyway, you get to meet all these interesting people. You get to hunger to meet some more interesting people. So, you know, you just walk out there, you see the person, you say, Yo, Sean Connery, nice to see you. And then he does his Scottish accent and calls me Mojo. But he always adds an S to the end of everything, so I become Mojo's Johnson's. And it's kind of funny. But that's cool. Sean Connery's a good man. He's very tall. Surprised me. Very tall. Kind of like Daniel Day-Lewis tall. They's both about the same height, I guess. They're both an equal amount of greatness to them. Only Sean Connery ends up doing films like, you know, The Rock and the Leagues of Extraordinary Gentlemans and all that stuff. And they still cool and action. I like action, but it never necessarily uh, comes out to be part of his quality. You know, like the quality in that I stayed at is not as good as the best Western because the best Western at least don't got the cockroaches. But then again, there was the one time I found the cockroach in the best Western, but the one time I stayed at the Hyatt, it was perfectly clean. I haven't been in a hotel in years, however, because I'm homeless now and I don't got the money to stay in a hotel. That's cool, you know. Well, the last time I was at a good hotel party was with Lou Reed and Andy Warhol. That was really good. A lot of cocaine, a lot of heroin. Maybe not the best night health-wise for Mojo Johnson, but it was still a fun night. And there you go. In essence, that was the history of Mojo Johnson. A party animal, a, a fiend, and a decadent hedonist, so to speak. 
Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you all a fine day. And I'll see you in a little while, you know. I don't know how long it's going to be. It could be a little bit, a couple minutes, maybe a couple days. But I'm going to keep checking in on y'all. I hope you keep checking in on me. Catch you later.